not taking a vacation from vlogging. I'm just taking a vacation. And we got a major, oh, you know what? There's a door back here, guys. We got a major room upgrade. So I want to take you on a quick little tour, even though I haven't seen the whole place for myself. And then in the morning, we'll see the outside. So you ready? Here is, hey, no burping. Here is the main room. We have the sitting area. No, this is not a sitting area. We have a freaking living room. Look at the size of this TV, guys. Did anybody notice the TV? Okay, we just literally walked in. And, um, oh, I should have brought my HDMI cord. We could have totally done Netflix on this. Oh, well. That's the fireplace. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, sound system for reals? I brought an ox. Oh my god, of course you did. Wait, what's underneath? Can you open that? Let's just check out and see what's in all this stuff. Okay. Coffee. Coffee. But like. Oh my gosh, like real napkins and stuff. Why am I so excited? I don't know. <gasps> Look at this! Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, it's empty, sweet. We can fill it with our own stuff. Yes. Okay, coffee maker makes mommy happy. Then, oh, and out here, we'll see you out there tomorrow. Okay, then you can either go left or right. We'll go left. Wait, I'm naked. Okay, we'll go right. I mean, I'm not totally We have the bathroom, half bath, not a half bath, the, the, and then we have another TV, and we have another coffee maker. And then, yeah. Double sinks. This is psychotic. This is just nuts. And then look at this tub. Oh my god. Look at that. And a loofah. Oh my gosh. And then. Hello, half naked boy. Are there robes? Because I'll be so happy. Yes, robes. And then here's our bedroom. This is a door to go outside. I have no idea what's over there. And then lovely artwork, lovely everything, really. Michael, this is this is sick. Then we go across the hall. Jake, are you naked? I mean, no, I'm in my oh my god, Jake, I am filming. Now they're only naked enough to get famous. Very funny, like him. He said he's only naked enough to be famous. Okay, duck, because I'm coming in here. Put your pants on. Another bedroom. I don't know where he went. Oh, there you are. And then out uh, that way is some interesting things, which we will show you in the daylight. And the best part, it comes with a freaking British trained butler. I kid you not. We haven't met him yet because it's like almost 11 o'clock at night. So he's off, but he's back on duty at 6 a.m. I won't be meeting him then either, but oh my God, this is crazy. I don't know how to work this. We have our own patio out there. We're not getting it bumping. I don't even know what that means. But not right now. Anyway, welcome to our villa. This is amazing. I know I said I'd wait until <laughs> the daylight. You look like such a little Hugh Hefner. It's dark here, but check this see. out. This is our own private patio with our own private hot tub. Oh, look at the pretty folded towels. They said the butler got the room ready for us. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? This is great. I love you. <laughs> Shaney, you're so funny. You doubted me. You're oh, like, and we have our lounge chairs. And apparently we have our own gas grill and the butler will, the butler will make hamburgers for us. Are you serious? <laughs> we can't do that. We're gonna make our own hamburgers. Can you imagine how much those hamburgers would cost if we had him do it? Here's your $500 burgers and fries. This is amazing. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I wish I could you appreciate this more. Open. I didn't. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I'm just. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Right, How did we get this? This is insane. You want to say goodnight to the people? No. Oh my god, look at you two. <laughs> yeah, but I am. DJ call it. I'm used to Oh god, I love this. Follow me to the journey. Walk with me. Enjoy this. This is never happening again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, happy Saturday morning. We just had breakfast in the hotel and now we are at the spa. Look at that view behind me. Check this out. We're just kind of walking around. It's pretty cool. All right, we're now walking out of the spa back toward the villas and here's the view. 
that many of the villas are sitting on this lovely lagoon with palm trees growing out of pillars. So pretty. Mm -mm. Don't you wish you had a ball? Another edition of What Michael Can't Do. Come on, really? Well, he can play basketball. Oh, he finally missed one. He was like six for six. I know, five for six. Yay! Uh, three for three. All right. Yay! He's getting greedy now. All right. Nope, gotta quit while you're still ahead. Excellent job. <laughs> We're here at the Desert Pipe, which is a giant hamster wheel. And it looks like that. And Jake is going to do it. Rite Aid, my first Rite Aid experience. It was a smaller Rite Aid and I only got four Julie G nail polishes. I'll show you when we get back to the hotel. Customer service was not great. And in California, they charge you if you want a bag. So they're in my purse. It just, it's different. There's a bigger Rite Aid down the road, so maybe after dinner. We're gonna check it out because I want to pick up some of the um, LA Girl makeup that I cannot get at home. So everywhere we go, there's some makeup to be looked at or bought. So now, you wanna do dinner or Target first? Target dinner. Target. <laughs> We're split down the middle. We're gonna do Target. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, and if you can see behind me, there's a large balloon inflating. We are getting ready to float. Very excited. How excited are you guys? Show some excitement. Come on, it's a bucket list for these guys. Literally, we're gonna be in a bucket. It's yes, a bucket it's on the bucket list. Yep. So there it is, almost awesome. inflated. Uh, and there is the beautiful mountains. Beautiful sun, more beautiful people. Pretty cool. Very cold. It's Odark 100. We left the hotel room at 5.30. Not sure why. And we're getting ready to go up in the air. I like to go early. enjoy the ginormous bathtub. Oh, hi, look, you can like, see two of me. And um, I'm gonna just be decking it. Michael's out on the golf course, shocker, which is actually right there. There it is, this is our view. Hello, golf course. And mountains, snow-peaked mountains, some of them. Tomorrow, we hit the top of some of those mountains, and we're gonna take the kids to play in the snow. Ooh, bad lighting, let's spin around, woo! Alrighty then, I'll see you guys after I'm all bathed and refreshed. I realized that I never showed you the nail polishes that I got, and I think I got some good ones. So here they are, in the horrible lighting that is my hotel room. And I also swatched them on this magazine that I will never read. So, see that third one, the coppery glittery one? I think I'm gonna put that over what I already have on, because I have 
Can you see that? Okay, foot fetishists, it's time to come out from under the rock you're hiding. Um, I thought that would look good over it because I didn't bring nail polish mover. But we have, we have unfocused nail polish. We have this color, which is called Universe. Universe, it looks like a duochrome funky gold. This one really caught my eye. It's the Pantone color of the year, sort of. It's like a rose quartz. Look at that, can you see that flash? Pretty, and this one is called Bubble bath, I believe. Like, who can read that? I mean, really. This is the glittery one I'm thinking of putting on my toes. It's very glittery. And it is called Golden Sunset. Very apropos. And then the other Pantone color of the year, when do they come out with two colors at a time? Is this one, and this one also has a bit of a flash in there. See, it's not a satin or cream. It has some micro glitter, I believe they call it. It's the technical term, Santorini. Hey guys, I am in the oldest of old school movie theaters right now, like no stadium seating. We drove around all over trying to find a movie theater where you can actually get tickets to see Star Wars. And I'm mostly going to see the back of this guy's head. But anyway, we're going to try to enjoy this movie and uh, let you know how it is. Go Star Wars! Woo! Okay, real quickly, we are just coming, we just came out of Star Wars. No spoilers, don't worry, but oh my god, it's awesome! It's a little more emotional for those of us that saw the original in the theaters, but it was really good, even for the younger generation, right guys? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. It was so good. Oh, okay. I even cried a little. It was very emotional. All right, we're on our way home. I'm going to turn the lights off so you don't get in an accident. Hey guys, we are hanging out in the hot tub, but I'm too full and too cold to even think about getting into a bathing suit. Mom, it feels so But good. these guys are in. Oh, My yeah. feet are in. Does it that count? So good. You look so creepy. It's, it's all like smoking everywhere. It's steam. Anyway, we're trying to explain to Michael, who seems to have no recall of any of the original movies to Star Wars, what exactly happened. Dad, did you see the original movies? It's, I don't even have much recall, but I mean, I know I saw the original one. <laughs> like the first one. But growing up, the movies that I recall vividly are Bad News Bears. Let me guess. A Bad sports. Bad Bears goes to breaking training. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the um, Major the fish that stole Pittsburgh. What? Major you mean the, the fish? Basketball was a basketball movie with Doctor. You mean Jay. a fish called Wanda? No, it's called the fish that stole Pittsburgh. I've Major never League. even heard of that movie. I know that was one that my brother and I saw. We oh saw my the gosh, there's definitely a theme here with Michael's. Yeah, what about Major League? We call on movies, but anyway, older, I'm gonna say good night like and try to explain some more. If you haven't seen Star Wars, you need to see it. It's Awesome. Wait, what's it really called? It's not called Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens. And they're making like a spin-off of Harry Potter. Oh yeah, and they're making a spin-off of Harry Potter. Oh, that looked pretty good. Actually. Yay! Take good night. See you tomorrow. Like you On our way to the mountain, listening to Van Halen. Yep. <laughs> We are at the fake ice skating rink. This little girl is killing it, and Michael cannot move. Mike can't move, and I'm not gonna make fun of him because I can only get one skate on so far, but I can't skate and film. So Shane won't get off the bench. Get off the bench! Go for it. Whenever you are. He's hopping like a what, little what bunny. Is that? That's the Michael move. Oh, it's a Jake. <laughs> Jake sort of. Good morning. It's our last day on the property, our last full day. And Michael and I have left, last full day. Michael and I have left the kids in the room eating leftover pizza and watching a rock marathon. The and rock. The yeah, rock. The rock. Can you smell the what WWE the rock is cooking? He's really funny. I like him. And we are going to the concierge level to get breakfast. Show me a good look. Start it to the left, it's gonna break right. Hard. Not enough. Wow, that's power. Huh. Oh, did she make it in the wrong hole? 
Oh my in. god, that's Does a that joke. count for something? It, it went does in, not. That, it went that in is a just hole. We didn't specify what hole. Oh my god, that's awesome. <clears throat> <laughs> that's awesome. Look at you. you. Who brings their own putter to a putt putt course? Well, I do because Michael Goldberg, who have Michael Goldberg does. Play. Competitive golf, you got to. <laughs> this is not competitive, this is family putt putt. And so we're at our last dinner. We are at, I already forgot, the old spaghetti factory. There is no, really a trolley back there. St. Louis, Missouri. No, Mom said it. All right, Dad's getting confused. Okay. There's also the spaghetti warehouse, like which is different. We've been to the spaghetti factory in San Antonio, St. Louis. It's getting confusing. Okay, but we're not in either of those places. We're in the Palm Springs area. And we're having a celebratory dinner because, yes we are, because Jake got admitted to another university. And this one is kind of exciting. Yeah, yes, it's hard to tell. Tell us. Tell them, okay. Uh, Miami University of Ohio. Yes. yes. And why is it exciting? Other than the fact that it's ranked very highly, family-wise. Because, it's because his parents, your grand grandma, and grandparents are both alumni. Well, were alumni there. It's exciting for Michael and me because Michael's parents met at Miami and were married. They're called a Miami merger, so it's kind of nice that maybe Jake will be continuing in their footsteps. But we have not made a decision yet, although I think Jake has made a decision. No. Have you? No. No. Yeah, okay. He's, still he's keeping his options open. We're just smart. But we're very proud of him. This is a really good school. Yes, we are. You not We're gonna have some celebratory pasta. Last, I know it's our last morning here, and it is beautiful. Would have been a great day. Would have been a great day. Look at the clouds. Okay guys, I'm going to call the vlog here. It is uh, 4.20. We are at LAX at our gate along with the entire mass of humanity. It is a very crowded, very angry terminal. People are a little antsy getting home I think. We, it took us an hour? More than an hour. Almost maybe an hour and a half at least, I'm thinking, it's an hour and a half, to go six and a half miles to get from Sunset Boulevard to LAX, which was mostly us screaming at each other. So um, I'm going to say goodbye. It's been a lovely vacation. Um, the only downside was I forgot my camera battery and extra battery and charger in the hotel, which Michael remi remembered three hours after we left, so that didn't help. But we still remember. So I'm going to cut it short before my camera dies and say thank you for hanging out with us during our vacation. And it's back to daily vlogs as soon as I get another camera battery. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, you know what? Watch tomorrow. There's a really good video coming tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Eyeshadow Junkies tag, and I think my very first makeup product that I went crazy with and I continue to go crazy with is eyeshadow. I just keep buying palettes.